Hi Scorpio, welcome to your love reading for the month of October. This is going to be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising. These messages are general messages, so they may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't resonate with you, you can always check your other placements to see what else comes up for you. What do we have for Scorpio in love? What's going on with Scorpio in their love life for the month of October? What can Scorpio expect in October? We have flirt, extend your lighthearted energy towards others. We have separation, time apart from your partner is on the horizon. I'm getting the vibe already that some of you, especially if in separation, well, if you're in separation, you are opening yourself up to what else is out there. I get the vibe that some of you are fed up um, with a situation that you feel isn't going anywhere or it's just been on and off it's been going in circles there there's no real like outcome or this person isn't giving you much of much they're not giving you anything to really work with for some of you okay so you consider yourself single so you're flirting that's for some of you um let me see scorpio What's going on with Scorpio for October? Okay, I see a card. We give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Heart to heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Let me get one more card. Chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Soulmates. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. So. We have someone you have a lot of chemistry with. This could be the person that you're separated from. You may have conversations with this person um, during October, but some of you are currently separated. So while you're separated, a lot of you are just thinking, let me just see what else is out there. You know, like you're probably flirting or maybe you found some crush, but ultimately a lot of you are gonna be trying to make it work with someone, giving a relationship a chance, okay? they they might see you flirting with other people or just living your life and decide that you know they sh they need to step up their game or else they're gonna lose you so it, it could work out that way but i see you focusing on someone who, ha who you have amazing chemistry with working things out with them having heart to hearts with them and giving the relationship a chance but before that you're kind of doing your own thing you know um some of you might manifest this person back into your life especially by being free and just doing you you know that attracts people back that's that's always when they come back is when you're doing you and you're not thinking about them once you let go you attract them back into your life so let me see what's going on what do we have for scorpio when it comes to their love life for october What's happening for Scorpio in October? What's happening for Scorpio in October? We have Blossom. Dedicated efforts and reach out. Mm. Someone's going to be reaching out in October. We already know that because look at all these cards here. Giving a relationship a chance, heart to heart conversations. There's going to be somebody reaching out, someone who you've been separated from. So that's, there's no question who, you know who it is. But with dedicated efforts, you know, honestly discussing your feelings with each other, things will work. Okay. It's going to take work. This is the eight of pentacles. Things will blossom and things will grow. I wouldn't, I wouldn't doubt it at all. Oh my god. Um, I haven't had this deck long and this card has never come out. I didn't even, like I don't really look through the cards, these oracle cards. Um, I kind of like to be surprised. And this is the first time I'm seeing this card manifest. And I just told you, you're manifesting this person back because you're just letting go and doing you. So yeah, don't be mad, okay? When they come back and those feelings come back, it's because you manifested it. like unintentionally unintentionally though so it's not like you're sitting there and trying to manifest them some of you might be but 
I see it happening anyway, whether you're trying to or not. So, okay. If there was a third party involved, it's ending. This just landed in reverse. Person will be getting rid of the third party. Especially when they see you doing you and glowing. What's this person's energy towards Scorpio for the month of October? What's their energy going to be towards Scorpio for the month of October? You see, they miss you. Five of Cups, this person's realizing that they've lost something. It changes their perspective. You see, because of what you're doing in separation, you know, you're flirting, you're extending your lighthearted energy, you're just doing you. Doesn't have to be flirting, but just doing you, you know. Their perspective changes. They start to feel like they've lost you, especially if they had so much ego and, you know, confidence walking away from you. That will change. Okay, that's going to change. That's their energy towards you in October. That's Scorpio's energy towards this person for the month of October. That's their energy towards this person. The Empress, you're still attracted to them. You're still attracted to them. Some of you, ooh, you see. Three of Pentacles. Some of you, you might have some people that you've been flirting with and they might still be in the picture when this person comes back around. Creating a third party situation. So you probably got options in October. But you're really attracted to this person. Um, the Empress came up for you in the reading that I just did, the general reading for October. And I was talking about you glowing up and you just doing you and looking amazing. Taking care of yourself. This, is, this has been your energy since the reading I just did for you. This is your energy, the Empress. You really, really... Um, looking and feeling good in october really embracing your attractiveness as well shining okay but there may be someone that you flirted with and then when this person comes back around it may kind of feel like you've got these two or even more but the ones that you flirted with are not as serious as this one because you may have had a history with this person okay um the energy of this connection for the month of October. What will be the energy of the connection in October? Oh, you see. You are gonna you're gonna have to make a decision. Because here we got the six of pentacles. You kind of trying to balance out two people. This is not for everyone, but some of you may flirt with a crush or something. And they may still be in the picture when your person comes back around. And so you're going to be like, you know what I'm seeing? What am I seeing? Some kind of something that they do in movies where let's say a person has two separate lives. Like in one life, they wear a blonde wig. The other life, they wear a brown wig and they have to rip the wig off to go tend to people in one life and put the wig on to tend to, to other people. That's what I'm seeing, like, you kinda got two lives going on. Not major, not like you got two whole families, you know, kids with one person, and kids with another person, no, it's not like that. It's more like just someone that you met during separation with this person and you don't know how to tell them the truth. <laughs> We have the Emperor. This could be an Aries that you're dealing with, some of you. It could be a Libra. Um, that's what I'm seeing. Let me go to the main spread for October for you. Main spread for Scorpio. Hold on a minute. All over the place. Okay. Scorpio. Scorpio, Scorpio, what's going on with Scorpio for the month of October in their love life? What can Scorpio expect in love for October 2020? Okay, it's ready. Oh boy, you are 
holding back those feelings but you got the knight of cups you see this is you as it says with the flirt card you're kind of open to seeing what's out there open to love not that you're gonna open your feelings and, and just fall in love right away but you're kind of intrigued and interested to see what else is out there especially if you're in separation I, I just get that it's not a serious thing like you're not out there looking for a husband or a wife you know right away that would be great but i just see you as doing it like freely especially since the fool just came out that's the type of energy i'm seeing like just freely seeing what what's going on in the world because you know scorpio you like to be more mysterious and in your own little space you kind of want to venture out and see what what humans get up to you know what normal humans get up to so oh my gosh your person this, this person that you're in separation from they seem very guarded towards you they got that king of swords as the feelings which means they're 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 they've, they've been like i said they're gonna have a change in perspective in october but currently they've been very cold like keeping their feelings to themselves or denying their own feelings to themselves like lying to themselves about how they feel acting like they don't feel nothing but trust me when they see you doing you that's what's going to change their perspective that's when that that five of cups is going to come in and they're going to feel like they've lost something that's when this king of swords energy goes away they start to feel a little bit more soft emotionally you know ten of wands their current energy oh boy this person has some some releasing to do okay they may have a lot going on in their life for some of you that could have triggered the separation they just got too much going on they're gonna i'm hearing that they're gonna regret um letting you go or letting this affect the relationship with you they're seeing you as a ten of pentacles some of you might have good income or come from a good family or you just got there's something very value valuable about you it could even just be your knowledge it could be your looks it could be your talents everything they see you as having like really high value as a person um so it's not like they don't like you anymore obviously not okay it's not that it's not that you weren't enough there's nothing to do with that because they're seeing you in a very high position it just seems like they they had a lot going on and life just life just became too much for this person you know so they had to get into that king of swords energy and kind of toughen up and deal with life but they're gonna regret letting you go in the process okay or letting this affect the relationship in any way you're seeing them as a nine of wands so some of you may know that this person's a little bit afraid. You may see them as intimidated by you, which it, it is possible because they are seeing you as a ten of pentacles. But you see them as holding back, hiding, avoiding you for some reason. And as I said, you're open to flirting, but you're not open to letting someone deep into your heart just yet. You're just having fun. Um, queen, not the queen, sorry. Every time I see a woman, I say queen. <laughs> we got the nine of pentacles here that's um that's both of you kind of being in that singles energy i'm being drawn to the give the relationship a chance card now so it's like you both were in this free energy and then you both start to think you both start to look at each other like you know should we give it a chance you know both start to, i feel like you you'll both in october start to feel the need to work on the relationship around the same time um this fool energy this is what's blocking okay um they're having to be more serious while you're able to be more free so they're in a more compromising and, and rough situation while you're just kind of breezing away. Not that you're not hurt in any way, but you just feel like being more free or will feel more free in October, um, claiming your single life. Um, but then, you know, 
this person they come towards you because they see you they see you taking leaps in love and it changes how they see things we got the guru here which is the hierophant as the outcome this can mean marriage it could mean that some of you are married and you start to work on the marriage it could mean you're going to the next level with this person once you have the heart-to-heart -heart conversation and work on the relationship but i just see you guys doing things the right way you know working on it very slowly and effectively we have the four of cups here so right now it seems that someone's rejecting someone maybe they rejected your offer so you said okay forget you i'm gonna go flirt um they just seem they just seem unreachable and just like they're going through a lot and they're really miserable um at the moment but that will change okay so you might be annoyed by that energy they're giving you but it will change so why is this king of swords here let me see what is going on why is why what's going on here really <laughs> king of swords why are they feeling the king of swords towards scorpio they are they're waiting for change to come in their personal life and it's coming they're gonna be seeing a lot of options not people as in options option as in for their career or options and ways to release this burden th their life is going to become a little bit more light where they can kind of start focusing on you again but whatever they're waiting for is coming in the ships are coming in for them but as long as they're in the waiting period they're they're just miserable in that you know miserable having to wait for things to improve in their personal life why the ten of wands yeah, they're going through some kind of divine shift like yeah see they're waiting there's even more waiting seven of pentacles improvement is coming for them but there's a waiting period things are happening for them in divine timing so they have to wait that's the thing divine timing always takes long but you know why the ten of pentacles devil in reverse It's something to do with you making a lot of money or just just being some they just see they see you as someone of value it doesn't have to be money as i said but you could be dealing with a capricorn we got the devil in reverse you know what though as well because you are able to let go and just be free they're seeing you as someone more stable and strong able to just get on with life you know the scorpio rebirth being able to just be reborn and move on they're valuing they're they're val, val uh, they're valuing and admiring your strength why the nine of of wands two of pentacles and the star yeah, you are seeing them as being intimidated by you a little bit. A little bit intimidated by you. Well, maybe a lot, but you know. They, they're needing to figure things out. Some of you, as I said earlier, there might have been a third party that they're, that they're gonna release. Because that Three of Pentacles did come out in reverse, but some of you i'm hearing want to cheat always a cheater or want to play always a player so some of you are kind of just seeing them as someone who juggles so you're seeing what else is out there but i feel like once you get to know each other even more you'll get answers and then you can decide you know from there why the hierophants ten of wow could be a leo for some of you okay tower moment there could be a surprise engagement i say that because we've got wish fulfillment here nine of pentacles we've got the sun we've got ten of pentacles again and the hierophant 
Just the Ten of Pentacles and the Hierophant being together is just straight up marriage commitment. So maybe some of you are going into a commitment with this person. It doesn't have to be actual marriage, could just be a committed relationship. Um, but I see that um, you're getting some kind of wish fulfillment here. And it's going to come as a shock to you. But the thing is, this person saw you living your life. They realized they could lose you. Um, and change their perspective, as you saw with the Hanged Man and the Five of Cups earlier. Their perspective changes. And with dedicated effort, this is very possible. Okay, this outcome. Let me see what we have. Scorpio. Improving health. Listen to your intuition. No need to worry and take action, see? Heal, listen to your intuition, do you, don't worry. And if there needs to be a heart to heart, to, uh, a heart to heart to heart, <laughs> if there needs to be a heart to heart conversation, go for it, you know, if this is what you really want. Because that, I feel like that conversation is what will take this to the next level. The chemistry will come back, you know. Separation isn't really taking much away from you guys' connection and chemistry. Okay, so just keep manifesting. Also keep being free, living in the moment and not focusing on it, focusing on it too much and then things will work out for you. Okay, so this is what I'm seeing for you, Scorpio, for the month of October could be a Scorpio. No, yeah, it could be a Scorpio since I said it, <laughs> since it came out. Could be a Capricorn, Sagittarius for some of you that you're dealing with, Aquarius, um, Gemini, Libra as well. Those are the main signs coming through. Some Aries energy. Check your other placements if you want to know what else is going on for October. Like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.